Okay, so we're gonna see how to measure some holes with some pin gauges. Uh, we have two sets of pin gauges. This is our small set and we have a larger set. Uh, in both of these sets, we have a ton of different little pins. Please do not pick this up. Leave it on the desk. We don't want these things falling out of here. Um, very expensive sets, you know, treat them right. What we have though is each pin is one one thousandth of an inch bigger than the next. And so down here, uh, you can probably read some of these numbers here. Uh, this one here says 0 0.0655. This one is 0 0.0665. So it is one one thousandth of an inch. In other words, 0 0.001 bigger than the next. This is 0 0.0665. 675.0685.0695.705 oh, and so they go in one one thousandth of an inch increments so here we have a titan model okay this is the 2m and we have some holes here these are not tapped um, but uh, they are drilled and so we want to check the size of those holes so here's how you do that kind of approximate a size for the pin. I'm going to pick up this one. It looks like it's a 0 .11, 1885, 0 .1885. That goes in. Okay, so I want to go bigger. Let's go bigger over here. This is a 1945, 0 .1945. Goes in. Let's go bigger. 1995, 0 .19, Ooh, wow, that's a pretty... Good fit, 0.1995, little jiggle, little jiggle there. Then I'm gonna go over here to a 0.2005. Ooh, that doesn't quite go in. It, it, it's like it wants to go in, but it gets stuck. So 0.2005 gets stuck. And a 0.1995 goes in. So that tells me that my measurement is between 1995, 0.1995, and 2005. So I could say that it is right around 0 0.200, and that is close enough for us. So it is. 0 0.200 inches. So I'm finding the one that fits and where the next one doesn't fit. And it's, we can say that the whole size is right in between those two.